forward air. And shadow ball, like, and forward air. And, and forward down tilt, and forward air. And forward air again. Yeah, I mean, you know. You, you, you have yourself a good Yeah, but I mean, Raynor, or is it Raynoir or Raynor? Raynoir. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. So Raynoir, the thing about it is, uh, since Sheik is definitely more of an aerial-based character, down tilt isn't going to be particularly useful as Mewtwo, and the characters that jump a lot, uh, I feel like just inherently do better versus Mewtwo, because suddenly you're get you're already getting rid of such a huge part of Mewtwo's game. Because down tilt's broken. And the one thing that Big Mac's been working on a lot lately since Karna came to um, Chicago for uh, their invasion, invasion week yeah. is his electric pressure. Because Karna's yeah. very good about that, and Big Mac is like, I need to do that. I need to be better at that. I mean, that's where Sheik gets most of her damage, quite honestly. That and Needle in people's landings, essentially. Yeah. Oh, up kill? smash! Wow, Ouch. that was a hell of a call up, but not quite going to do it. Wait, Dreamlands the starter, not Lila? I guess. Okay. I, I've, I've played assuming it's Lila the whole time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but so, uh, Raynor has a little bit of a hill to climb, but he also has this thing in Spun Smash Forward me mechanic called Rage. Rage is, uh, so, Rage is silly. It's a fun and balanced mechanic. But, um, well, uh, Big Matt taking the stock there without B real quick. And so, Raynor just honestly at this point has to get more aggressive. Because honestly, yeah. like, because he was playing passive, and it, you don't, you can't really play passive versus she. You can play like, passive aggressive. Like, you have to, like, be up in her face to force her to do something and then punish her for it. Yeah. But you can't exactly, like, just sit back and do nothing because she will just needle all day. Yeah, he hasn't really been utilizing Shadow Ball very well so far. Like, yeah. I don't know if he just doesn't think that... He's concerned that uh, Big Mac will get the time to charge needles and just want to deal with it. Yeah, but at the same time, Shadow Ball, a kill move, does, like, 20 million percent. Yeah, so. that's true. I like the side beat. And it kills, so... Yeah. And the thing is, it also punishes people short hop aerialing into you because you just let it rip and you trade, and that's fine. Oh, is that gonna kill? Nah, that won't kill. He got the he got the DI mix up, so I wasn't 100 yeah. sure. Nice nair. But like right now, Big Mac's just kind of just doing his thing, holding on the stock, getting that damage, getting a lot of extra damage. Oh, beautiful pivot really grab by Rainwater though. Gets. I feel like Big Mac at that point should have just honestly just literally needled until he died. Yeah. So. I mean, Big Mac, he's he's someone that prefers to play more aggressively. Yeah. He he like. Oh, he beautiful double jump read. Oh, well, something that's very important about this matchup is Sheik has the 50-50 because of, of Mewtwo's weird jump. So, uh, yeah. then the 50-50 being up throw. So, yeah, I, wonder, like up I wonder if he knows up that. Up, like up that. Yeah, up throw, up air. It's a 50-50. Yeah. It's all the characters that have weird jumps. And, like, I think, like, one or two more just randomly. Oh, uh, does he have side B still? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, okay, avoids the needles, though. That was smart. But that's one thing is Renoir has had like no hold on the stage this entire this entire game. Yeah, like once Big Mac came down, he has had zero opportunity to have any bit of stage control. And that'll do it. Yeah, that's gonna be game one. Big Mac playing really solid. Renoir missing some opportunities. I feel like playing the wrong type of style for this matchup, and you know, definitely lost the game because of it. I'm just trying to think where he's gonna want to go for game two. Like, I feel like more space would be better for him. Yeah. Like, he was kind of getting suffocated in the three-platform format. But at the same time... Oh, I feel like Town and City would be a good uh, pick. But if he bans yeah, that, I'm not exactly sure where he would go. Let's see where he goes. Oh, he's going to Battlefield. Okay. So, I guess I could see that because, like, she's, she's going to live kill. longer. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, I feel like the three-platform format was kind of hurting him more than anything. Yeah, I mean, I could see that. But, eh, yeah, I don't know. It's... it's, it's it's hard. You do have the easier, the ease of landing because of the triplats, but he would just lost on a triplat. Yeah. And like, it wasn't because he would couldn't kill, or it wasn't because she killed early. It was just he just got outplayed. Yeah. Like I would have gone somewhere where he had more open space, like town, like you said, town duck hunt. Yeah. But like it's also scary because you don't want to give Sheik like FD like stages. So. Big Mac has a lot of good experience in this matchup, being with the Midas, being from Chicago. Yeah. Ooh, nice forward. Dude. That was actually beautiful. And, like, we don't have a high-level Sheik in Wisconsin, so Ray doesn't really have access to, like, this match experience. Yeah. Sheik, even though she's been so prevalent throughout the entire meta, it's still a matchup that a lot of people don't, aren't familiar with. And, like, with the down throw nerf, like, she's become a lot less common because she's just so hard to play. Yeah. She's just a paper... She's, just a paper she's definitely the game. hardest top tier to play. Yeah, I would agree. Because, I mean, I mean, I would say there are at least two harder characters... Three harder well, so characters. Mega Man is top tier. Which would be... Oh, no, Mega Man's not top tier. People just suck. I mean, I'm just saying, he, he definitely has the ceiling to be a top tier character. In my yeah. Because, like, I think, like, Pikachu's harder, Mega Man's harder, uh, Greninja and Peach are probably harder, but... And maybe, and probably Shulk, but Shulk is bad, so it, is, yeah. so it doesn't count. Yeah, I You know, it that. isn't bad. Bouncing Fish, as it takes yeah. the stock. Big Mac's saying only at 30%. Yeah, he's playing incredibly well. 
evasive when he needs to be, aggressive when he needs to be. He's just putting his moves in all the right places and, and then his passivity in all the right places. And he's, Ew. Ray just can't find an answer right now. He's, he's, you can see his frustration in his play, honestly. And that you're kind of saying like the issue, where, like Mewtwo's a great character, but then you're just seeing him just get outboxed at every every turn right yeah, now. Yeah, Sheik, Sheik's literally just out frame dating him, which is kind of rare for Mewtwo to get out frame dated because his frame data is actually ridiculous. Yeah. But he oh. just, just doesn't have an answer. Narrow to bouncing fish. Only oh, Max only no. taking 15%. He was going for the off the wall. Oh, misses the forward smash in the right direction. Either way, wouldn't have killed, so I don't quite get why he would do that. But I, oh, yeah, I mean. Ray still has a long way to get this first stock. But that, oh, they're playing on melee crews over there. No, I think it's Frosty Fostings. Is what it is. Oh, Frosty right. Foxes. Okay. Well, so not only does Ray Noir need the kill, then he needs about 80%. And that is not looking likely right now with how this match is going. Big Mac playing so much better, honestly. And he's just, he just hasn't let up stage control this entire time. There's the up throw 50-50, but it gets out. I mean, it might be 2 damage. percent Yeah. I mean... Beautiful that, forward air. If forward air near the ledge would probably do it. But like, I just, he just hasn't been able to find those consistent openings. And he keeps randomly just deciding to use down B. And they haven't worked. Forward air, not going to do it. He's going for that off the wall. Oh, oh that's dude yeah. I mean, because the thing is, uh, Raynoir expected him to grab the ledge, so he was going for the, the second re-grab punish. Yeah. But then, nah, I'm just going to up B in your face. And yeah. that's...